we're going, we're raring. Like Boris, we're back and we're raring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he was raring. Thanks for joining us again. Um, so if you remember last time, I'm just going to jump straight in here. If you remember last time, we did the right shin. And we've already done the thighs and we've done the torso and the arms. So we're getting very close. So we've got the left shin to do. Now I've stuck the, um, the elastics in, like we did last time. So it's just a repeat of the right, the right uh, shin. But on this one, we have this to add also. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna get this trimmed up and uh, get, it, get it banged on there really so we can get this thing finished. So it is exciting. We are getting very close to seeing a completed Stormtrooper. I'm just cutting the edges off here where, where the edge of the mold falls. I did have a pencil. So, I'm just going to trim this back to about there and then it's going to come down here and round. Something like this. <coughs> and then I want to take this out at the bottom as well. So, I'm just going to give this a quick trim. Talk amongst yourselves. Bring on the noise. Just take the burrs off and any rough edges. Nice to get it off now before we apply it. Okay. Okay, so it's just basic trimming from what we did way back when, when we first started. Just trim the excess plastic off that we don't want. And it's just a case of gluing this, uh, this into position. We, we stick it on there and smush it down. That's kind of that's kind of how we want it to sit. We've got this flat area. Okay, so we've got a little little activator on there that's just gonna help this go off a little bit quicker. I'm just gonna put a little super glue on here. And a little on here. A little bit more than I would like there. The only problem with too much super glue is it takes a bit longer to go off. I'm just spreading it out. Thinner coat. Stick a bit of it on there while I'm at it. So just using these two points on the edges and don't particularly want to smear it all over the place so I'm going to try and offer it up nice and clean. So what I've tried to do there is to start with the areas that are going to be covered by the needs, slide it down into position. If you can see the underneath there. All right, let's try and clamp it and leave it. Mm-hmm. 
So let's leave that to go off a little while and think about the other jobs that we've got left to do to complete this stormtrooper. So we're um, we're a big chunk through this now. Let me just move that out of the way. <clears throat> so we've got these plastic hand guards. I'm not sure where the other one went, but it's not doesn't matter because. Well, let me just tell you a quick. All we would do on these is trim them out round here. Just give it a sort of five mil. When it goes deeper, obviously it's going to be a little deeper. Put a curve in there, that kind of thing. Again, it's going to go a little deeper there. You can curve it round a bit to fit your hand. <clears throat> and then we would uh, put on a piece of elastic on the back so it slides on your hand. Uh, I'm going to throw it in the bin. I'm not doing them. We don't do those hand guards. We'll use the uh, latex hand guards as the original suit. Then we've got the buttons to do. While that's going off, I can have a little trim of the buttons. It's not. not there's not a great deal to these either. So as you look at them, you should be able to see a raised, raised area all the way around it. We're just going to follow that best we can. Just cut it out nice and close to that. You can always um, give them a little sand. Square them up a bit. It all depends how far you want to go really. They're not, if you look on screen, they're not, um, they're not done super tidy anyway. I like to just try and get them a little bit even around the edge. So these are going to go on here. So we don't want this to overhang this rectangle. I'm going to come back to this anyway. I'm just going to trim the buttons out for now. Rough, well, even rough trim will do. <coughs> and then we need to give them a paint. I think it's going to be easier to paint them off and then glue them on than it is to manhandle the whole <coughs> the whole torso. So we've got the buttons that we know we need to paint. <coughs> we've got the thermal deck that we need to finish here and we've got the belt. I'm missing one of the drop boxes for some reason. We've got the belt put together and that is, uh, that is pretty much going to complete our Stormtrooper. So we're definitely getting towards the end here. One knee in place. I'm quite happy with that. Can open the back and that completes the left shin. So to recap, we've completed now the shins, we've completed the thighs, we've completed the arms, including the shoulder bells. So we have got remaining the torso, needing just the buttons adding. But I'm going to get those painted. I think we'll, I think we need to have a little chat with Sai about that. And we have the um, belt, drop boxes and thermal detonator so we'll probably do this whole bunch together in the next video 
and that is then going to complete our our stormtrooper. I think we need someone to wear it. I think we need someone to wear it. Um, well, I say complete it. It completes the armor. I guess it's good. we're getting close to helmet time. That's what she said. Uh, so thanks for joining us. That's the shins complete now. We're, we're pretty much there. We've just got these these small parts. Um, these are, I mean, these are really easy. We've got the bulk of it out of the way, as you can see, and it's looking pretty impressive. So join me next time where we complete the belt and, um, and we should have a complete set of armor. So until then, um, get involved. If we've inspired you to build a kit, we've still got the quarantine issues on. We've got lockdown, everybody's at home with nothing to do. Give this a go. You've seen it. If I can do it, you can do it. There you go, simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. If however you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff, or again, all on the website. Just click through, choose your character. It's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.